it's Lori here today to share my empties with all of you for the past week. This was an Easter themed basket. I was going with some Easter wax, some pastel colors, and just things that reminded me of the holiday. So I want to take a moment and welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below. And I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber. I am so glad that you are a part of this channel. All right, so I got through a lot of clamshells, which was nice. I did a scoop, I finished up a scoop. I think I'm close to another one, but let's just start talking about some of the wax that I went through. So I did pull quite a bit of bathing garden to go through that was Easter themed. My hair seems to wanna to be falling in my face today. It's like, oh geez. Anyway, so I did wanna use up some of the Easter theme from last year that I did have, so I did go through some of it. So that was good. I feel like I made a little bit of a dent. Got through, I think, most of it. I have a little bit left that I'm going to be using up in the coming weeks. This next week, as you know, is using up the leftovers, so I kept the, that in my basket, and maybe we'll try to fit it in here and there. We'll see. There's not that much left, so I feel pretty accomplished along that front. First one was bunny whiskers here, candied cherries, Confectioner sugar, marshmallow, and tonka bean taffy. I know I was a little bit worried about the tonka bean because I have figured out I don't really love tonka. This was really nice though. I feel like it's mainly a candied cherry scent. So this I would definitely consider getting again. It was very good. I didn't smell any of that tonka if you're worried about it. I know I was, but this is very cherry. If you don't like cherry scents, you're not going to like this one. It's definitely predominantly cherry. <laughs> Next one we have is strawberry cream egg. This is strawberry, raspberry, peach, jelly beans with bubbling cream soda. This was unfortunately very, very light. I'm gonna say like maybe a three out of 10. And you know, it was just a bummer because it smells really, really nice in the clamshell. I will say it's a fake-ish strawberry scent. I happen to like those. <laughs> Some people don't. So it's definitely along that line and you get a little bit the, of the cream soda. I wouldn't say it's very bubbly or fizzy, but it, it reminds you of a cream soda, I would say. So unfortunately, this would not be a repurchase because it was so light, but it smelled good, it smelled good and clam. I don't know. Okay, so this is Easter Basket, fresh orange cake and vanilla layered with sugar crystals. This was also really light. It's very light in here too. I would say this is another one that's maybe a three out of three or four out of ten, unfortunately. So I had a couple of these that had really light throw for me, which was very, very, very much a bummer for me this week. And this would also not be a repurchase. All right, I'm just trying to move a couple of these around. I probably should have organized a little bit better. I want to stick with these. This is another bunny whiskers. I melted two at the same time. All right, this is marshmallow peeps cookies. I don't have the scent notes written down for this one, but I actually used this to mix in with this next one, which is raspberry coconut mousse, which is tart raspberry blended with coconut mousse and topped with coconut drizzle. This is very much like a perfumey or body care raspberry. Unfortunately, it is not a raspberry jam. And unfortunately, I had purchased more for this year, not knowing. I should have looked at my stash and melted it, you know, prior. And that's the problem. You know, if you get a large stash, <laughs> you don't go in and recheck it. I know I'm guilty of this. I have repurchased things that I already have. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I had that. Like it might have fallen behind, you know, it's it's gotten buried with some of the newer wax. I try to put newer wax in behind but we all know, I mean, we get busy, we're moving stuff around or we're in there trying to pull a basket and maybe it gets shuffled around a little bit and you don't realize. So I really need to be better about this. Pull my collection down. I keep it in the closet over here up on the top in, you know, like little storage tubs by each of her collections. I need to pull those down, make sure I don't have it mislabeled because <laughs> maybe I bought it on clearance or something and didn't realize what collection it came from. Because last year was the first year that I bought Bathing Garden Wax. You need to be a little bit better about that <laughs> this upcoming year with the seasons. I did that for the, what was it, the Wonderland in Spring Collections. I pulled all of it down, looked at what I had, melted a couple of things. So I'm trying to be better about that. But unfortunately, this would not be a repurchase. 
This was not strong enough to counteract it. Some of her marshmallow scents are good and they're pretty strong on their own. I wouldn't say this is necessarily the strongest, although I would need to melt it in all of my warmers and didn't have enough to do that. So would I get more? I don't know. I'm a little on the fence about that one, but this one I will be using up what I have and then I wouldn't repurchase. Unfortunately, I don't really like that type of a scent. All right, we had sea salted wood sage. This is pink sea salt crushed sage and wood earthiness blends into a fresh soothing scent. This was okay. It's my black hole bathroom really kind of sucked this one in. It was all right, but it wasn't a scent that I probably would need to repurchase. This actually reminded me of like a Tonka type of scent. It had that kind of note in it. Not really sure why, but this wouldn't be something that I would go out of my way to get. We had Love Chick, which was fresh mango blended with starfruit, strawberry, and peach. I feel like what I mainly got on this one is the starfruit and peach. It was okay. I would say probably a four or five out of 10, not super strong. So another one I probably wouldn't go out of my way for. We had Salted Almond Milk. Creamy almond milk blends with tangy sea salt for a dreamy, soothing scent. This was nice, but again, not overpowering. I wouldn't anticipate that it would be. I feel like this is a nice, soft, soothing type of blend. Be really nice for in the bedroom if you're, you know, want to have a nice, calming sleep. It was great in the bathroom, but was not super, super strong. Okay, so that is the bathing garden that we worked through this week. We had a couple of Scentsy, a few Scentsy that my son, a couple that he went through and a couple that I did. He finished up this Cars bar here. This is really nice. I don't have it in my club, but it's a very zippy, zingy type of fragrance. And actually, I like it. It has like citrus notes, a little bit of cherry in there. And so it wasn't in my club, but if it came back, I would get some more. Definitely. I believe this one's in my club, Aladdin. This one's very strong for a licensed bar. And it's like a blueberry type candy, like blue raspberry and blueberry candy to me. So I have this in my club. We'll see how long I'll keep it in there. I don't know, depending on how many bars I get, but I really do like it. Then I have this Pastelitos. I actually melted this last night. So to me, this smells like a grilled pineapple scent with like a hint of bakery. I was trying to put my finger on what the heck it smelled like <laughs> as it was melting. And that's really kind of what it reminded me, almost like that caramel caramelization that you get if you grill a pineapple from the fresh, you know, sugary juices in it. That's kind of what it reminds me of. I liked this. It almost has a coconut note there for a second. I don't know, but anyway, I liked this, but it's not in my club. This was one of the clearance bars that they had. So if they brought it back for Bring Back My Bar, I would get more. I don't know if I need it in my club because there's a lot of pineapple scents, but I would definitely pick up some more because I did like it. All right, this one was probably the bummer of the week for me personally. Not saying that it was terrible, but I just had super high expectations. So, you know, sometimes you go into something and you just, your expectations are just like up here and I don't know, I need to melt it again. I did pick up several bars of this on the clearance, you know, that Scentsy had. And it is coming back for Bring Back My Bar, so I'm, I'm gonna get some more and try more. I'm not ready to give up on it yet, but I will say this was light to me, and I actually did it in this office. <laughs> so I don't really know what happened. I don't, I think it's gonna get like sucked up in my open concept, I don't know. So it's Cotton Candy Cookie. So you guys will have to let me know if you have this one or have melted it in the past, it gets sucked up in your open space because this office in here, typically I get pretty good performance in here because it's a small room with meetings during the day. A lot of times the door is closed. And so I get some pretty good, you know, performance in here, especially if I have the window open a little bit, I figured that out because for some reason it just blows the air perfectly <laughs> in this office. But anyway, this was really kind of light. I struggled to smell it and I don't know, I'm a little bummed. I have more, like I said, I'm gonna try it out again and we'll just see if maybe the, you know, the heat was on too much or not enough or whatever the, the case might've been. You know, and I don't know how old these are. I know there's a way to check, but I can never find it. I don't see anything on here. It's not like imprinted or anything. But yeah, these were in the clearance section and I grabbed several of them. 
So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed in that one. And this last Scentsy bar here that I have is Jumpin' Jelly Bean. This one was relatively strong, I would say, but <laughs> unfortunately it was kind of, it was more of a pear scent to me. I'm not a huge pear person. They're okay, but I feel like that's the predominant scent I got in this. And I would have rather had like lemon and orange and some cherry coming out but to me this was predominantly pear when it was melting i mean it wasn't bad it was fun for because i did melt this on easter it was fun for easter nice candy scent but um, the thing that i'm mainly picking up with this one was pear and again i picked that up on the clearance sale okay so i had a few of these that i melted from goose creek i have a haul coming in it's probably be here this week so hopefully I'll get that recorded and put that up this week. What I mainly did was they had their wax melts for $2.49 and while I would much rather pay $2 <laughs> they had some of the scents that I like for the summer and some scents that I only bought one clamshell of last year and I don't like that because it takes two clamshells in my warmer dishes in my living room and kitchen, dining room, that whole thing. So I thought, well, I'll just buy a second one, you know, a duplicate one, so then I can try those scents and see what I like for repurchase, you know, maybe next year or later if they have them on clearance, whatever the case might be. So that's what I did. I tried to buy the ones that I only had one of, and then I got duplicates of a couple of my favorites. So that'll be a haul upcoming, and actually two candles. I didn't like paying the price. I mean, it was not full price, believe me. But they do have a sale right now. I think they're six for 60, so they end up being $10 a piece, but you do have to buy at least six. I did check it out. If you add a seventh one, it'll be $10. I have a cart. I, I abandoned it though. <laughs> I'm trying not to purchase, but there's a few that I would like. I will tell you if they had my key lime, I think it's key lime cake pop. I would have purchased that one. It's out of stock. So kind of like, well, they didn't have the one that I really, really wanted. I would have probably picked up three. It's that good. It is so good. But I don't know if they're gone for the season. I did put a notification on there. So if it comes back in stock, it'll tell me that one is so good. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. Okay, so this one was Peach Cobbler Delight. This was nice, I would say. It's on the lighter side as well. But it's, it's a nice peach donut scent without going towards the cat pee. So this is one I would repurchase. This is pineapple cake pop. This was a little bit on the lighter side in terms of strength of the pineapple. You guys know I have a favorite pineapple scent that I absolutely love and they did bring it back this year. It's at Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens, the larger clamshells. It, I think it's pineapple and vanilla, I wanna say. That is my favorite pineapple by far. I love it. It's so juicy. It's very, very strong. So if I'm looking at retail wax, that's probably the one that I would stick with. It doesn't have bakery in it. So if you're looking for more of a bakery pineapple and you want retail, this is probably a good one to pick up. I melted these two in alternating warmers because I think one of them wasn't available on the website when I went to order. So I just thought, let's just use them because I've had them for at least a year. Warm donut sugar and sugar donut so let me remember because one has more cinnamon than the other and it's got to be this one then <laughs> i want to smell yeah so the sugar donut is more of a cinnamon sugar donut to me and it actually was stronger it wasn't bad like some you guys know the cinnamon bothers me a lot of times this was not bad though when it melted it was a very nice bakery cinnamon sugar I'd probably get this one again. I don't know, because I know one of them was available. Wouldn't it be funny if it's, it was this one and I bought more? But I would get this because it did melt really, really nice in terms of that was nice bakery cinnamon sugar. So that's a good one, recommend that. Okay, my scoop that I worked through this week is from L3 Angel Grove. So this is a year old. It's Picnic in the Park, which is Spring Breeze, Fruit Salad and Mimosas and Angel Food Cake. So I really did like this. The problem was, is it was in scoop form and I didn't have anything else that I wanted to mix in with it to use it to amp it up. To me, this smells almost like a, 
Yeah, I guess I would say like a fruit salad bakery. You get a lot of the lemon bakery though coming out. That's what I really felt like I was smelling. I had these in my tea light last night, my tea lights, in order to use it. And that was a good way of using it and really enjoyed this a lot. But wouldn't get this one again in scoop. I might get it in a puppy pack or something. It's not something I need a ton of only because... I feel like it took me a long time to get through this. Does anybody else feel that way? If you get a loaf and sometimes you just overdo it and it's like, okay, I need a break from this for a while. So, you know, I, I've been kind of learning what I want to get in scoops because I like to use those to amp up other fragrances. It's a really good way of using scoops, but I don't like to get them just for the scent on its own. So I really need to be more cognizant about using up the scoops in my tea lights and like moving those out and then just having the ones that I use to amp up other scents. All right, so in the bedroom this week, I scrapped the whole fizzy pop scenario. My candle that I had in my crock died off pretty early, I would say. It was a marshmallow fluff candle. You'll see that in my empties. But yeah, that kind of just like lost its, <laughs> lost its steam early on. And I was really, really craving some like mint scents, mainly buttermint scents. That's what I like the best. And so I pulled those out and we enjoyed them. This is what I finished up this week. We had this To the Moon and Back Creations Peppermint Cake. Peppermint, vanilla, and birthday cake that I pulled out of the first collab. This was okay, but again, I'm not a huge peppermint lover. I much rather prefer buttermint. So if it's buttermint and birthday cake, which you'll see I did melt this week, that I much prefer. This wasn't bad. It was strong, but not my favorite mint. This one is, so I did a custom with L3. This might have been like, you know, she had some leftovers and did some samples of it. Buttermint birthday cake. I know other people request it as well, and I just love it so much. It's probably my favorite <laughs> buttermint blend. Oh, it's just perfection. So, yeah, I melted this sample and then amped it up with a little bit of buttermint. You'll see I had a couple of... These are scoops, yes, but they're not like the full-size scoops. This is a buttermint <laughs> scoop from... That Smell Good Shop, it says, just like after dinner mints. This is amazing. I just use a tiny bit of this. So this lasted quite a while. And put it into my warmers to amp up the buttermint type of scent. And it was great. So I would 100% get this again. Loved this so much. Love her formula. And then this is a sample that I got from Scoopable tart wax I want to say so this is lemon cookie noel this was really really nice I feel like I got the bakery it it really reminded me of like a lemon shortbread cookie type of a scent so this was really nice and I used it along with a vanilla bakery blend and added this in and it was just a really really nice comforting lemon lemony type bakery all right a couple more mint scents that I used in the bathroom bathroom bedroom <laughs> in the bedroom. This is Shamrock Shake from L3, Creme de Menthe, Vanilla Ice Cream. I like this and I have another one. So which one is my favorite? I have Shamrock from L3 and Shamrock from VCS. VCS wins this battle of the, I was going to say, it's not battle of the vans. It's a battle of the wax here. This is Mint Cream and Vanilla Swirl Milkshake topped with whipped cream. I prefer this one. It smells exactly like the Shamrock Shake from McDonald's to me. Uh, so I have quite a few of these. I purchased a few last year. I don't know, last year I wasn't as into mint as I am now. And so I have, you know, these are from January of last year, which is fine, VCS, VCS lasts a long time. And so I'm just getting through these now, but I have since ordered more because I wanted to have some, you know, curing. That's the one thing I do need more <laughs> buttermint scents and shamrock shake blends. Would I get this from L3? Yes, absolutely. Especially if I couldn't get more of this and I was running low and this was available. This is really, really nice. But my favorite is this. This seems creamier to me. So this is stronger mint to me and this is creamier. So I'll just give you my little rundown of the difference of those. I finished up two of these morning pumpkin from the Melted Moose. Zucchini bread, pumpkin pecan waffles, and hazelnut coffee. Now, I will tell you, normally, I love this scent. I was having some kind of weird off week with coffee. Yeah, it smells amazing. I have more of this. I will order more of this. I think it's in my customs. 
for some reason my nose was going rogue i didn't feel well for one of for a couple of days actually even to the point where i went in and got tested to make sure that it was okay came back negative but yeah i don't know if it was just allergies or whatever the case might be i know there's a virus going around a lot of people seem to have it but anyway this just went rogue on my or my nose went rogue on this scent so i'm gonna put it aside and make sure it's on the customs list because normally i love it all right big old stack let's keep keep trucking along i did finish this up and i know i have we'll see the other one i guess this is birdie's making sense sweet but bitter lemon curd and blueberry muffin really really nice scent this was great i felt like i got the lemon and the blueberry scent together really good i would get that one again so this next one is a custom that i did with melted mousse last july blackberry jam butter cookies and coffee this is normally a really good scent for me i really do like it there are a couple other blends that are similar from other vendors so i do like that blend but my nose like i said went rogue <laughs> i don't know what happened all right i was using up this rose girls paradise scent i feel like i don't I have to sniff it again. I'm trying to remember. This scent to me is kind of fizzy. It's kind of like a fizzy pop vibe to it or actually a ginger ale vibe. That's what was, I'm like, I can't think of what it is. That's what it is. It's more of like the ginger ale fizzy type of scent. That's the thing that I didn't love about this one. I really prefer the ones that are fizzy pop, which are more of the Sprite, like lemon lime type scents versus a ginger ale. So I wouldn't get this one again, but I'm glad to have used that one. We had, and that's a beach party punch from VCS. Fruit punch blend of orange, strawberry, pineapple, and pistachio. I really like this one. We've purchased, we had purchased quite a few of this because I absolutely loved it. So I'm working my way through those from last year. So I probably get a souffle or so of this for the future, but yeah, I think I probably over, <laughs> I probably ordered, you know, a couple too few many, but that's what happens when you just start off in vendor wax. It's like, oh, I just need all of the things. And then after a while, it's like, ooh, maybe I overdid that one. Next one is Hotel Cortez, pumpkin pecan waffles, tray leches cake, and cinnamon donuts. This is a really good mixer. I know a lot of people like it by itself. It's nice. It's a very warm and comforting scent. Very good on its own or mixing. I just really like this to have this on hand. So yeah, I have, I know I have another clam of it. I don't think I have any more of this, you know, like a half bam or a bam of this. I would get some more, probably a half bam. I don't need to go crazy because I, you guys know, I love pumpkin pecan waffles. There are other blends that I like better, but that one's a really nice one. And I prefer to blend with that one. We have Rose Girls Jumping on Sweet Lemon Clouds, Sweet Lemon Confection, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Cotton Candy Frosting, Cup of Cake, Monster Cookie, and Marshmallow Smoothie. I really, really like this one. It's a great blend. I don't know why I don't reach for lemon scents often. I, I really don't because I love lemon scents and every time I put them in, I love them. I need to be a little bit more focused, I think, on melting some of my lemon scents because I always love them. I just don't reach for them. I don't know. This is great. I will definitely put this on the list to repurchase. All right. This one I don't even need on the list because I have several bags left. I have finished my first one. I did send some to my friends in the collab. This is Fizzy Lifting Drinks from Super Tarts. This is my favorite by far scent from them. It's Fizzy Pop and Lemon Custard. This is so good. It took a while for it to come back around or I missed it, which could be possible. And I did purchase, I think I purchased three bags for Wax Wednesday. And then when it came back around, I purchased three more. Love this. We'll always have this on hand. Tag me if it comes up again, because I would like to, you know, I'm not going to go crazy, but I'd like to repurchase what I've used or melted through, if that makes sense, so that I can keep a certain stock in hand. Great. I can't recommend it enough. It is so good and it blends so well it's very very strong it's that lemon lime fizzy with just a creamy lemon custard and it's so strong very very good okay vcs what happens in vegas sweet blackberry tart raspberry and fizzy ginger ale this was okay i feel like this was a little bit light for me which is surprising it was poured in september so i'm a little surprised but it was okay i you know wouldn't say it was overly strong but it was all right Hayden Rose, this was very strong. Cranberry soda, had this. I got this from a year ago. My nose went rogue, if you'll remember when I first got this. It smelled off to me. 
it didn't after a while. I don't know what was going on with my nose at the time. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this was a really, really strong cranberry soda. And I really did enjoy this one. I would get it again. would recommend it if you're interested in that. It was tart cranberry with that fizzy soda. And it was very nice and effervescent. We had the Pharmacist's Daughter Strawberry Pound Cake. This is their house blend. This was amazing. Very good. I don't know how they, you know, what they use to blend this. But it's a really, really nice creamy strawberry pound cake blend. Yeah, this was really good. Highly recommend if you're looking for a strawberry pound cake. Very good. All right, I pulled this out of the collab and really, really enjoyed this. This is Sassy Girl Toasted Cookies, Toasted Marshmallows with Sugar Cookies. Now, it sounds basic. It is, but it had that toasty kind of element to it without being like that burning ember <laughs> fires from hell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Scent, I don't know, sometimes... The, you know, the scents are just too strong on the smoke for my nose. I think I'm just really sensitive to smoky type of scents. So this wasn't, this isn't that smoky at all. It's just like toasted, like, like almost, yeah, toasted marshmallow type, which is what it says, but not burning marshmallow. I tend to like my marshmallows burning if I'm making a s'more, but this is just like lightly toasted, just like, you know, a little bit brown, crispy edges on there. This was really good. I'm putting it on the list. I would totally get this again. It surprised me. I wanted to try it because I'm, you know, always on the lookout for a really good toasted type of scent without it being burning. And I would definitely say that that meets the criteria for sure. Okay, another favorite from Rose Girls is Fizzy Pop. I really enjoy mixing this. This is not my favorite. L3 does have my favorite Fizzy Pop oil that she uses or however she blends it with her wax it's the best for me but this is a close second I really did enjoy this I would get this one again if I couldn't get it from L3 but yeah I really enjoyed it this is nice to mix I love mixing it all right we have the melted mousse breadwinner fresh baked bread and strawberry jam I really like this one this is probably going to go on the list as well make sure I figured out with softer wax it feels like you need less wax in your warmers at least my warmers the hot warmers that I use and so less is always more with that and this threw really really well I really enjoyed it so it's going to go on the list probably we'll get that in customs and enjoy more of that we have Teddy B's another one less is more believe me I cut my souffles in eight now, and I have very large warmer dishes, so that tells you how little of a piece you actually need. Frosted lemon circus cookies, sweet and lemon curd blended with lemon buttercream and frosted circus cookies. I figured out I really love her frosted circus cookies. I need those. <laughs> this was good, this was great, but I felt like the best part of this blend was that frosted circus cookies. I need that. I'm gonna put that in the list just so that I know I just, I would love a, you know, a tub of that or whatever. I don't know if I need a loaf because I was just thinking about that the other day. I was boring my husband with that conversation. <laughs> well, the fact that if I have a loaf from her, it'd probably take me three years to get through because of how little I need of her wax. So, yeah, he was thrilled to be having that conversation. And he was trapped in the car. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> let's have a conversation about wax. <laughs> Yes. All right. We have this. I picked out of the collab, the Melt Stash Count Chocula. This was really nice. I did mix this in with some coffee. I really, really enjoyed this. I love chocolate and wax. This was good. This was actually very strong. I have never tried their wax before. Really enjoyed it. So I would definitely get this one again. And the last one that I finished up, High School Musical from VCS, Fruit Punch and Jolly Ranchers. We were only home for about an hour, hour and a half, and went out for the day when this was going. And so we were gone most of the day. We came back, and I can can say that I could still smell it, probably a three or four out of ten. So it did last. I mean, I want to say, where were we gone? Like seven, eight hours? And I could still smell it when we got home. So this is a strong one. I like this scent, but it's more of a summer scent to me. For some reason, like fruit punch, <laughs> you know, or the Hawaiian punch oil, just does not work with my nose in you know the dead of winter for some reason I don't I don't know why that's seasonal to me but in any case this was good and I would definitely get this one again so those are all of my empties for the week 
felt like I got through a lot of clamshells, really enjoyed what I melted. There were a few, you know, bummers, definitely. I think, unfortunately, some of the bathing garden scents didn't work as good as I would have hoped. So I actually had placed an order, and I think the only one that I had repurchased was that raspberry coconut mousse one. So I'm going to have to, like I said, I'm just living and learning, you know, just figuring out which scents work the best for me and which ones that I want to repurchase. There are some great scents. I didn't get to the, what was it, marshmallow, tangerine, and mango or something. I love that one. I've already melted it and I know it works really well. I will use that one this week and enjoy it. I do have some more. I think I ordered some more or did have more. So anyway, you know, you just have to figure out which scents work for the best for you in your house and your warmers and your airflow and just go from there. So thank you so much for watching. I have a couple of hauls that I have that I will be filming today and a couple more that I'm waiting for. Teddy Bee's RTS. I don't know if that'll be here this week in time for me to film or if it'll be next week, but I'm excited. I did pick up some more new to me scents and I think a couple of repeats from what I got in the pre-order. So I'm excited about that and Goose Creek orders coming. So some fun stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.